how you doing? Justin here. Today we are checking out the solo from Californication, of course, the Red Hot Chili Peppers song with a fantastic guitar solo by John Frusciante. Um, you know, one of those solos that's really memorable, really singable. And, you know, John Frusciante can really shred. That guy can play, but he plays for the song. And I think that's a really, uh, you know, very mature thing to be able to play this beautiful, you know, I love the fact that I can sing the solo, you know, it's so memorable and I'm sure that you guys kind of know it in your ear as well and uh, this is kind of one of the reasons why it's such a great solo for you guys to learn by yourselves learn it by ear now I really can't stress the importance of of learning to play songs by ear it's a really really big deal and it will increase your musicianship incredibly but it takes you know everyone finds it a bit difficult when they start you know it's it, you've just seen me play it so you've got a rough idea of where the solos played so I really you know I, I can't urge you more to go and have a go at working it out yourself and then use this video lesson to kind of check what it is that you've worked out you know there's a couple of things that you probably you might not get first go that I didn't get when I first tried to learn it the unison bends and stuff like that but I'm going to show it to you so please stop this video now go and have a try at working it out yourself because you might be surprised and impress yourself at how much you can actually work out just using your ears it's a really a really big deal but uh, I won't rant about it too much if you need help Actually, if, if you want more help on transcribing, I've got a whole big section on the website about transcribing and how to, you know, tools that you can use to help you using, you know, slow down machines and stuff like that and doing it one note at a time, all of those sort of things. So maybe go and check that out as well. And uh, let's get to a close up and I'll show you exactly how to play it. I'm just going to play the solo once more all of the way through for you guys that have kind of nearly got it and just need a little bit more of a, more of a hint and then I'll break it down uh, one lick at a time. So it goes like this. Okay, so let me take that through now one little lick at a time. So we're starting with the second finger in the tenth fret of the second string, first finger ninth fret of the thinnest string, third finger eleventh fret of the third string, tone bend and release. Okay, make sure that you're using your uh, picking hand there to mute those other strings so you don't get this kind of and pulled off the open strings while you're there. So, so using this hand to keep the, the bend nice and pure. So that first lick. And the second lick, same. Okay, so now we're just picking again on the 11th fret of the third string. Then pick, flick, so flick it off to the first finger in the ninth fret. And then twice on the 11th fret of the fourth string. Ninth fret, 11th fret, ninth fret on the third string. Bend and release on the 11th fret of the 3rd string, back to the 9th fret of the 3rd string, and 11th fret on the 4th string. So that first section. Okay, second section. Okay, 10th fret on the 2nd string, 9th fret on the 1st string, 12th fret on the 1st string, 14th fret. Same thing, but with a tone bend on the 14th fret, and then release. Again, making sure that you're using your picking hand to mute all those strings, so it's nice and pure. You don't want any of this. You know, put letting the, the fingers down. If you're worried about that sort of stuff, check out my Blues League guitar course. Teach you all about how to do that. But anyway, so that second part. Okay, and the third part.
Okay, again, I want you to listen to the original recording here, but uh, we're starting on the thinner string 17, 16, 14, then onto the 17th fret of the second string, back to the 14th fret on the thinner string, 17th fret on the second string, 14th fret, 17th fret, 14th fret. Okay? Once more. So the next little bit that some people might find a bit unusual is a unison bend. A very common kind of Hendrix. This kind of thing, you know, really, really cool, uh, cool trick this one. And basically we're bending this note up to be the pitch of this note. So we have the two notes are the same. So you don't want them exactly the same because they, they kind of wobble a bit better when when they're not uh, when they're not exactly the same. Um, you do that with a bit of vibrato as well. But uh, you can hear there if I go from the bit before. Okay, there's three times. Then the 17th fret, 14th fret. Okay, one more time through that little section because it's a bit weird. So, okay, this last lick starts with a tone bend with the first finger. Now, this is a pretty difficult kind of technique. A lot of people are going to really struggle to do that uh, bend like that. If you, if it's, it's helpful if you've got a good bending technique. Again, if you're not sure about the mechanics of string bending, check out my Essential Blues Lee guitar course. It's got a really good lesson on the, on the mechanics of uh, how string bending works. Okay, so tone bend there. Then 17th fret, 14th fret, 17th fret, 14th fret. 16th fret, 14th fret. Okay, and then the very last part, 17, 15, 14 on the second string, finishing on the 14th fret there of the third string. Okay, if you find that a real struggle, I'm fairly sure that's the way Frashadi plays it. I've seen him a couple of videos where it appears that he's in that place, but uh, you can always do it here as well. Okay, so do the bend here with the third finger on the 14th fret. 12th fret, 14th fret, 12th fret, 14th fret, 12th fret, 14th fret. Does make it a lot easier. Then 12, 15, 14, 14th fret on the third string. You could also move that last note there if you wanted to. If you wanted to do it there, you know, there's lots of different ways of approaching these sort of things, and it's really my best guess as to what John actually played. Well, I really hope you heeded my advice and had a bit of a go at learning it on your own before using my lesson. It's such a great solo, and in fact, a lot of the Chili Pepper stuff has got great solos to learn if you're getting into transcribing that are not too complicated. I mean, there's some that, you know, snow or whatever, obviously, there's some pretty technical guitar stuff going on with the Chili Peppers as well, but um, there's quite a few solos that are just nice, melodic, tasteful, singable solos that, that are really, really good to learn when you're transcribing. I, I learned loads of, of their solos when I was still kind of getting transcribed transcribing together and I'd urge you to do the same because as well as being just great music and great guitar playing it's kind of easier on the ear than a lot of other stuff and and because of the 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 style of the Chili Peppers as well. The solos are usually quite exposed and not hidden among too many other parts as well, which is a quite a, quite a big advantage when you're learning to transcribe. So, uh, look, I really hope you enjoyed it. Uh, please subscribe if you dig what I do, and I'll see you for plenty more lessons very soon. You take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.